Next I'll put the spindle in place. You want to make sure that the ball bearing is down in this hole. I put it in there earlier and I stuck a little bit of grease on it. I'll put just a little bit more in place. That grease not only lubricates but it also holds the ball bearing into place. I'm going to seat these screws in, back it up just a quarter of a turn, and when I find the hole I know that these screws will turn more than a quarter of a turn, obviously, so let's see, there's that one, now to find this one, and this one I'm going to locate blind because Tighten the screw down, back it up a quarter of a turn, and there it is. ready to put the governor in place. I have already inserted the little ball bearings in these pins earlier. I'll smudge just a little bit of grease in there to hold them into place. And once again, the notched end goes over here under the disc. Let's see how close I am here. That feels good. Let me double check and make sure I'm in the groove. in place, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten that down. Push this pin in and give it just the right amount of tension on here. You want just a little bit of play in the governor, but not very much. feels just a little bit too tight, but we'll tighten this down and uh, I can readjust that after I get the motor running. That should spin pretty freely and that's, that's real good right there. Perfect. 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put some lubrication down the spindle shaft. I smeared it with grease before I put it in, but... And I want a little drop on the friction pad, the leather on the friction pad for the governor, which is right here. And I'll go ahead and put a drop on the governor, the center part of the governor there. I've got my screws inserted into the coils and also these washers. I don't know if you can see it here. These are like half moon washers. There's an indention to them. And those indentions go inside of a little cup shape here on the frame. Let's see if I can do this without losing any of those washers. started. these little tabs that hold this wire into place. Bend them back. I don't bend them over too tight. So I don't want to pinch these the insulation on these cloth wires. Just enough to hold them. That one's ready to test. I'll go ahead and mount it to the uh, test board and we'll fire it up for the first time. Okay, ready to plug it up.